Hello and welcome to the second video of our Ninja Trader download, install, setup, and back testing. Okay, so in the first video, we had a chance to do a fresh install in our machine, set up the product individually, and have it running on our computer. Okay, now in the second part of this video, we're actually going to go back and do some back testing with Ninja Trader. We're going to do some simulation based trades in a risk free environment. And we're then going to be able to track our performance as a result. Okay, it's a phenomenal product. If you do have another one you want to use for the duration of the Trade Pro Fundamentals course, you're more than welcome to. This is a great one that we offer because it is absolutely free for beginning users. All right, for simulation data, it's a free product. Great start. Let's have a look at how this works. Okay, so we're going to open up the Ninja Trader that we just downloaded. Here it is. It's in our window. And the first thing we have to do is actually download some data for the product we will be testing. All right. The very first thing though is we want to make sure we disconnect from all servers. If we connect, what will happen is here's the end of day provider, which is free. It makes a nice little sound. And if we connect, it'll show a connection sign on the product itself. So let me show you that. Just one moment. And here we are. So it shows that we're connected. If we go under file, you see how it is lighter gray. Okay. What we want to do before is if we are connected recently, then we have to disconnect from that server and make sure that we're running a fresh slate. There we go. So what we have to do the next step is go to utilities and click on download replay data. Okay. So that's how we activated it. This is the button you want to be clicking under the file utilities, download, replay data. So that's what we'll do. Click it here. And now we get to choose our instrument type. All right. The only ones that are available are the default ones. So you can do foreign exchange, Forex, or you can also do futures uh, symbols as well. Unfortunately, for the free version, you are limited to just those two product classes. If you want to do more, you'd have to pay for it and upgrade your data provider uh, package, all right? So what we're going to do is go with our ES, which is our S&P 500 mini contract, which is a futures contract, and get in there and do some back testing. Really, the most important part is having the opportunity to simulate trades. It doesn't matter what product you're using. Technical analysis works in a very similar fashion. Okay, so we're going to click OK, and we're actually going to go back a week from today, the 22nd of March, 2013, click OK. And now we're downloading. How do we know we're downloading data right down here at the bottom to downloading level replay, etc. for June 13 contract. OK, so I'm going to let it finish doing that and I'll be back with you in just one sec. OK, here we are. We are done the download of the data. We can now go and connect to our back testing server. So what we're going to do is go file, connect. Remember, Kinetic was the end of day data, which is also free, but now we've got to go to Market Replay Connection. Okay, so we can click that, and what comes up is this neat little box. This is a replay box, okay? And we could choose from here, the 29th. So effectively, what we've said now is we get a chance to replay from March 22nd to the 29th. Okay, so that's just a week, but you can choose to replay as much data as you would like to do. So now what we do is go File, New, chart and we have to put in our data series from the top data series simply means what symbol are going to be analyzing what chart data do you want to find out uh, do you want it to be forex you want it to be dow whatever it might be default are the ones that we have available here these are futures contracts so let's choose the es because that is the one we downloaded okay we can move this replay guy apparently not we now have to click the new button down here to set a new instance here it is one minute um, let's say we want this to be a daily chart, not a minute. Okay, so daily chart, value, one day. So all we're going to see essentially is the following. Click OK. I'm going to load our chart. And here it is. You see absolutely nothing. <laughs> well, let's have a look as to why. As you can see, when you scroll through the time history, look up here, you're going to see the time and date changing. See this? So this is your ability to actually play through. So we're only playing through one day. So let's go on a five-minute chart. 
and that should load. Okay, here we are. All right, so here you go. You see how you could actually move through and navigate through the chart. So what does that mean? Right now, this bar is currently March 22nd at 3.48 a.m. Remember, futures trade 24 hours a day, so they're around the clock, except for Saturday and Sunday. So that's why at 3.48 a.m. there's some kind of value. It's most likely in the European session at the beginning of the British market, uh, based on 3.48 a.m. Eastern Time, Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so now what do we do? Now we have this beautiful little chart. How do we trade it? What you want to do is go at the top up here and click this button. What this button is, is your chart trader. It allows you to pull up your trading parameters here to the right. Okay, so let me just expand this window out a bit because it's going to be the one we're going to be trading with. And let us just say that we notice, I don't know, based on your teachings, we say, hey, there's a resistance level here. It's failed before. There's a support coming up. Who knows what's going to happen? Let's just, for the sake of argument, take a sell position onto this. All right here it is. Do you want to place this order? Sell market one contract. Yes, we do. We get a verbal notification that our order is filled, and now we have a line as to where our entry price was. So 1538.25 was our entry to go short, and we have a sell arrow pointing downwards here. Okay, so now let's flip through and click play. And what's going to happen is time's going to elapse. Now, why isn't it moving? Well, that's a good question because what you have to do here is set the replay speed. You'll see it's only 1x. So if we click the forward button, that's going to increase how much faster we navigate through time. Let me show you that. Look, 2x, 3x, 4x. 4x is also 4x for an exchange. Crummy joke. Uh, but now you can see time's passing by 15 times faster. All right? And now you can see the bars moving here to the right. Watch. Pay attention when I unpause it. There you go. It's making a run for it. All right, so that's how you do your replay with NinjaTrader. It's a great, phenomenal product. It's free for those people that just want to simulate data and run reports. It is limited in the symbols you have access to, to foreign exchange and futures. Now, while that might change in the future, currently that's the case. So it's a good start. If you want more, you're going to have to pay for it. Uh, but other than that, it's a great template to start trading off of. As you can see, it's bouncing around up and down. We're not really making money. We're actually in the loss at the moment. We took a sell position. And in fact, it broke through our resistance level. So you might turn around now and say, hey, I'm going to buy and aim for this level, 15, 41, etc. So this is where your Trade Pro Fundamentals course comes into play to teach you how to trade. Right? Once you know the education, you're able to simulate and apply it here. Here we go. The price is actually going in our favor. I'm going to make it move a bit quicker, 200x. All right, so we're at a somewhat profitable trade. So we could say now is close, and we get a verbal notification of order closed right there. Your green arrow 1537 is where you sold or where you bought back into the trade because you sold it, and your sell was here initially. So the rest is your profit. Okay. Simple as that. Now, let's say we want to click play and see what happens. Again, it goes back to 1x, so you got to click the next to speed it up a little bit. And it's moving. So let's just say we're ready to sell market again. So we do one. Yes, there we go. We're in a sell market order for the second time. And we got a verbal notification. Okay, so there it is. Resistance and support concepts at work. Okay, that wasn't it, but we got a resistance level here. Chances are, if you go back in the past, there was something that took place around this price action level. That's why it acted that way. So let's see if we can make this one profitable, and then we're going to terminate this exercise, and I'll show you the report and how to read it. Okay, so let's just see if we get profitable. There you go. Let's close this trade. Bam, see, we got out and went back up. There we are. That's how you do your replay. I'm going to hit pause, and that's your chart. So what you could do with uh, NinjaTrader, you could have multiple charts 
running at the same time, all right? And they're going to be at the bottom of your taskbar. It's not within one window. They uh, expand out. So we could move this window. Oh, we just expanded it. It's okay if you don't see it completely. There you go. You can move this window to the side or even minimize it and say, hey, let's see how we performed with our back testing. So what you're going to have to do now is generate a report. At the top, you'll see from and to, all right, and then a generate button. So that's what you're going to be working with. So from, obviously, since we started the 22nd, we're going to have to go at least to the 22nd, maybe even the 21st to March 30th. Okay, there we go. So we're going to click generate. We're going to wait a little bit. And wait a little bit more. Wait a little bit more. And there we go. There's a report, actually. So we have it here. I'm just going to move this box out of the way, the replay box. Here's our great performance report. All right, it tells us the trades we place. We've done short trades, long trades, and all trades. So it's a breakdown this way, and these are the criteria you can have a look at on the left side. Uh, you can see that we made two short trades, 100% winning percent or ratio, which is phenomenal. Um, draw it down you can see really the, the amount of great data you could have for example look at here number of trades per day two all right average time in the market 32.7 minutes all right profit per month two percent hey i don't mind that that's 24 percent profit in a year okay so there it is this is some great reporting available from ninja trader for free so we could scroll back up we could look at some other things like a graph here's our profit graph what do we know started at zero percent and within one day because it's the same day it shot up to 0 0.065 etc the longer you do back testing in terms of frequent or not frequency but in terms of the dates and the time the longer you go back in time to back test obviously the more robust this reporting uh, becomes executions you can look at here or sell or buys etc times you can see the price criteria commission etc all right, so you can really drill down and find out what you're really doing here. Some more features, you can see periods, orders, and you could also at the same time track a journal that you could actually type into and say exited, trade prematurely. Um, you know, here's what I learned. And then you just go crazy. Journaling is the simplest way for you to find out what you're doing wrong. All right, when you're in the middle of a trade, it's easy to say, hey, this looks great. And then with, with the hindsight effect, you could look at it and say, wow, I could have eliminated this trade just like that because it wasn't correct. All right, so really the intent of the exercise was to do some back testing, and we have done that with Ninja Trader. Hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully you find it as a great tool to use. I encourage you to have a look at it at the very least. If it works for you, great. If not, there are other products like Trade Navigator, which I use extensively. Uh, which is a phenomenal product, but it is costly. But again, for that cost, you get a wealth of functionality. Um, maybe we'll do a separate video on Trade Navigator as a resource. So there's a quick video on back testing with Ninja Trader. Hopefully, you learned a lot. Uh, go ahead and download it, play around with it. Don't worry, you can't break anything. It's a risk free environment in which you could simulate your trades and apply your theory to a live chart. All right, there you go. That's all I have for you. Have a fantastic day. If you have any questions, comments, concerns regarding connectivity or technical issues, please contact Ninja Trader uh, for anything else. Give us a shout at info at Trade Pro Academy. Have a fantastic day. Take care.